Connecticut, what's going on? We are in Southington in the hidden lair, apparently, of a band called Hard Water. Let's do a quick round robin names and instruments. James, I, uh, I sing lead and I play bass. I'm Julian, uh, I sing backups and I'm the drummer. I'm Ian and I'm the lead guitar player. It's not very often that I have an actual real live rock and roll band on the show. We do metal, we do punk, we've done indie rock galore. All sorts of bands that fall under the rock umbrella, but pure unadulterated rock and roll is a rarity in Connecticut. Hard Water is one of those bands though. They like to rock out, clearly three piece, hearkening back to the days of bands like Hendrix and Cream. So let's talk about the sound, why straight up rock and roll? Well, it's the best kind of music if you ask us. I mean, I don't know, that's what I was raised on. Uh, you know, it's, it's the most genuine. You know, it's three inch, we got the guitar, drums, bass, vocals. That's all we need to just make it our own. That's what we like. And they're making it their own. Now let's talk real quick. You mentioned growing up. Clearly, once again, another interview where I am really mo much older than everybody standing next to me. So let's talk real quick about the age. How old are you guys, by the way? Uh, I'm 17. I'm 15. 16. You've got to be kidding me. I'm literally old enough to be their dad. Seriously. So you guys were raised up on rock and roll. You play rock and roll. So why, when most 15, 16, 17-year-olds are listening to Vampire Weekend, you guys were clearly listening to Led Zeppelin? So how did this happen? It's so much better music. It's just so, <laughs> it's so much funner to listen to and so much funner to play. That's just the main reason. So let's talk. You guys got a new record out, correct? Yeah. Brand new. Just came out this year, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So let's talk about the record. How did that all come together? <laughs> that, that came together over long periods of time, just us jamming and just coming up with stuff and just building on it for a long time. So who's the main songwriter in the band, or is it all just a collaborative process? Yeah, I, I guess I write the lyrics, but we all come up with you know different parts. There's a lot of times like Ian will come in and be like, hey, I wrote this cool riff, and then it all just happens from there. Take that, and we roll with it. That's fantastic. So let me ask you guys then a quick question. Because you are a straight-up rock band, do you oftentimes get thrown in on shows with like cover bands and whatnot? Or? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we do a lot, actually. We are... Uh, we played at Toad's Place show, and we, we were playing with all, like, little kid cover bands, really. Because a lot of times, you know, we play these shows, and, um, we, you know, people just assume from our age that we're just like, you know, we're going to go up there and play, like, I don't know, a Jonas Brothers cover or something, you know? And then we get up on stage, and we're playing our own originals, and, you know, the, there was that one band that played, like, ACDC the entire time, and we're not, that's, that's just not us, you know? We, we're all about, you know, young kids making their own music you know it's important it's good to know that people can still do it I guess I love how he called them young kid cover bands they're probably older than these guys are so and it's a good th and by the way love ACDC don't be afraid to throw an ACDC cover in there but come on cover bands boo so let's talk about the future of this band then already got your first record under your belt you're not even out of high school yet so what's the future of this band where are we taking it um, we're working on a new album, actually, and uh, just playing more shows as much as we can, really, until he goes off to college. And <laughs> we'll still try to keep the band together. I mean, it's something we want to do the rest of our lives. That's fantastic. Looking forward into you know, the rest of October and into the rest of this year, shows coming up that we can announce already? Uh, well, we just since we're taking all this time to work on our new album, because that's we got to get that done. You know, we really want to get that in the bag. Um, people can look at our Facebook or our MySpace for upcoming shows. Um, just Hard Water on Facebook or MySpace. Hard Water is the name of the band. We're gonna go watch them rock out right now. So check it out. <laughs>
thanks for tuning in to another edition of Chips on Aim Local Band Show. Really appreciate all the support. Make sure you check us out on Facebook, www.facebook.com slash bandshow. And until next time, stay classy, Connecticut. Thank <laughs> you.